We as recording engineers and recording producers believe that we need to record music with a certain timbre that is the most suitable for music. The grand piano is a keyboard instrument that evolved from the harpsichord and can be played with dynamics from piano to forte. The shape of the piano in the 20th century is almost the same as it is today, but various manufacturers are still pursuing an ideal timbre, working hard under their own philosophies. This collaborative research project is called Research on Microphone Arrangement in the Grand Piano Recording in Search of a Musical Suitable Timber. We compared using the same type of microphone searching for the position of each that can bring about a timber suitable for certain type of music. So we created a website to compare the difference in sound for these mic placements. It was six pianos, Steinway and Sons D274, Bösendorfer 290 Imperial, 280VC, Yamaha CFX, Steingreber und Söhne Model E, C. Beckstein D282 with 24 stereo pair microphones. You can listen to compare the sounds with all the microphones with one click. The recording was done by Katsuya Nagai from Nagoya University of the Arts, Thorsten Weigelt from Berlin University of the Arts, Toru Kamekawa from Tokyo University of the Arts, Atsushi Marui and Tonmeister course students from Berlin University of the Arts in April 2022 at the Berlin University of the Arts Concert Hall. The pianists are Mo Jo and Shion Ota who study at the University of Arts Berlin and Nagoya University of the Arts. We recorded seven pieces from different musical periods. You can feel various things from these sound sources. For example, the sound will be very different for the different performers, even if it is the same microphone position, the same instrument, and the same music. Also, even with the same microphone position, the same instrument, and the same performer, the sound will change significantly if the music is different. And piano music wouldn't work if we only have the piano and the pianist. You need a good piano technician. The effort of the technician is so important that the piano music cannot be completed without a tuner who can understand the pianist who wants to express music through the instrument. This time, we got a lot of help from Mr. Gerd Finkenstein, a specialist trusted by many pianists in Germany. We believe that the reflections on the lead affect the recorded sound. We already discovered that each angle of the leads of the six different pianos was not the same. Also, we recorded the same piece closing, removing, or half opening the piano lids for comparisons. We wanted to know physical aspects of acoustic characteristics of the piano, so we attached a vibration device to the strings of each piano to reproduce and record measurement signal for impulse response. We recorded with Ambisonics microphone because we wanted to introduce the direct and indirect sound of the piano in the hall. We could then change the directivity of the microphone after the recording. We also recorded with dummy head microphone that enables three-dimensional listening not only left and right but also up and down. But we always have to find a microphone arrangement that records the sound with a timbre that is the most suitable for music. We'll do subjective evaluation experiments in the future. And we would like to make a new proposal for microphone placement in piano recording. Please listen to the competitive sound source and feel what kind of timbre could be suitable for the recorded music. <laughs> <laughs>